In our continuing coverage of cell phone use in schools, state lawmakers will look at keeping them out of the classroom next year. Many districts already have their own policy, but as Fox 23's Devin Lyon found out, if this bill becomes law, there could be a minimum expectation put in place statewide. I'd really like to offer the local school boards as much flexibility and autonomy as possible and just say these are the requirements. State Senator Ali Seyfried of Claremore spoke with me about one of her recently filed bills, limiting cell phone usage in classrooms. What I have now is um, saying that this, the local school boards will need to have a policy that adopts bell to bell. How they want to implement that is up to them. The bell to bell rule would not allow cell phones during class hours. Students can only access them between classes and during lunch periods. Seyfried sits on the Education Committee. This bell bill is the result of an interim study from earlier this year. We talked with a lot of teachers from across the state and sort of asked them questions about what they're facing and sadly a lot of the issues were in the classroom on discipline and just being burnt out from trying to take the phones away and trying to teach their lessons and manage, you know, cell phones. The bell to bell rule wouldn't come without exceptions. Seyfried told me they've written in exceptions for students such as medical needs. To what extent it's enforced would be up to the districts. The bill also has the possibility for grant funds to be used for schools to create these policies. In the study, Seifert cited schools that had already put in place such rules, where discipline issues like bullying went down and test scores went up. When that went away, the bullying went away too. Um, we just want kids to be able to focus on what they're there to do is learn, and I want teachers to be able to have the opportunity as well. With Oklahoma being ranked 49th in education, Seifert is hoping bills like this one can help better equip students for success. I ultimately want it to be successful, so I don't want to come in and be heavy-handed and say, you shall do this. I don't know every the dynamics of every local school board or every school or every district and so um, but I want to help lead the way. Oklahoma has the opportunity to be a leader in this. No state has um, fully passed a bell to bell um, requirement yet. Covering news that matters, Devin Lyon, Fox 23 News. Both Tulsa and Broken Arrow Public Schools are some of the larger school districts that have similar cell phone policies already in place. The bill from Seifert's office is still being written. It has until next Friday to be finalized.